What is going on guys, Nick here back with another video. We are coming up on the first year of Mark Zuckerberg's rebranding of Facebook into Meta, an announcement that was met with both cheers and skepticism. The Wall Street Journal obtained some leaked insider documents into how the metaverse is actually doing internally, and uh, Houston, we've got some problems. Mark Zuckerberg launched the metaverse as a way to diversify Facebook's earnings away from just relying on Facebook's ad revenue. Facebook's Achilles heel is that it's accessed through Apple and Android devices, which means that they never have complete control over the user data that they need for their ad targeting, which makes them vulnerable to Apple and Android privacy rules. Zuck's hope is that the metaverse gives them the ability to generate revenue from something other than these Facebook ads. But after a whole year since the launch, the results have been pretty disappointing. According to internal documents reviewed by the Wall Street Journal, Meta set a goal for themselves to reach 500,000 monthly active users for Horizon Worlds, which is what Meta calls their metaverse by the end of the year. And so far they aren't even close to that goal, currently sitting at less than 200,000 monthly active users. And even worse, users who go through the effort to sign up and join the platform aren't sticking around. Since the spring, Metaverse has actually seen a decline in their user base. So they aren't attracting as many new customers as they expected. And even worse, the ones who take a chance and try it out aren't sticking around. Now, it's not like Meta lacks the ability to advertise to potential users. In October of 2021 through the early part of 2022, Metaverse discussion was everywhere. And Meta the company as a whole has somewhere around 3.5 billion monthly active users of their products. They're certainly capable of letting potential customers know about the product, but people just haven't been convinced that they need to give it a shot yet. 200,000 monthly active users of the metaverse is about 0.005% of their total monthly active users, which is a pretty disappointing number. When we start to look into the platform, it starts to become pretty clear why these users aren't sticking around. Horizon Platforms, which is the name of Facebook or Meta's Metaverse, is supposed to be a huge universe full of interesting worlds, games, and fun people to hang out with. You can visit space, McDonald's, Paris, nightclubs, and all kinds of other interesting places. But right now, it's only worthwhile if you like hanging out in these places by yourself. Most of the worlds sit completely empty and only 9% of the creator's worlds ever receive more than 50 visitors. For a lot of people, their lives are extremely busy and as an adult, it can be difficult to make friends. The metaverse could be a great way for those to socialize in a cool and interesting environment without the worry of judgment and pressure that sometimes you experience in real life. The whole reason for the metaverse is to help users fight loneliness, have fun and experience a fantasy world with others. It's essentially the cardboard box episode from SpongeBob. Patrick, I think we should keep our voices down. We might start an avalanche. What? I said, I think we should keep our voices down in case of avalanches. What should we keep down? Morons. Uh, voices! Well, you two shut up. But the worlds are just endless, empty spaces, so no wonder why users aren't willing to come back after just a month. Now, the metaverse wasn't supposed to experience a TikTok level rise to popularity. Meta expected it would take years to launch and grow, but if Meta doesn't start to gain traction and show some real promise, the effort might be for nothing. And even worse, serve as a distraction from the ad business, the part of Meta that is actually making money. The headsets to join the metaverse aren't exactly cheap, the most basic cost $400, but data shows that even after shelling out four Benjamins, more than half of the headsets aren't being used. Meta's internal research surveyed users to try to figure out why people were moving on so quickly. The survey was a fairly small sample size of just 514 users, but the main complaints were they couldn't find metaverse worlds that they actually liked, and on top of it, they couldn't find other people to hang out with. If users aren't finding the worlds fun and interesting to hang out in, I just don't really see how Meta is ever going to gain traction for themselves. Maybe what Meta needs to do is to spend some time trying to consolidate some of these worlds and bring some of these 200,000 monthly active users into just a few worlds or highlight a few worlds that are popular so that people do actually experience others to hang out with. But empty, non-engaging worlds aren't the end of Meta's issues. Users have complained that characters don't even have legs and constant bugs and issues with the software ruin the experience anyways. The bugs are bad enough that Meta recently put the platform 
platform into lockdown mode, which means that they're pausing new features until the experience improves. But even with the lockdown, Meta is still working to try to figure out how to gain traction and move the metaverse forward. Zuck launched a brand new high-end VR headset called the Quest Pro in an attempt to make it easier for the metaverse designers to work. In an internal memo from Dare Obasanjo titled AR, VR, or the Metaverse, which is the next billion dollar user platform, he said a metaverse accessible by not just VR headsets, so in other words, allowing connections through PCs, phones, and AR products like smart glasses, have a better shot at mass adoption than augmented or VR, and that Meta hasn't put together a strategy to invest and build out this segment. He believes that the metaverse needs a reassessment of how Meta invests and allocates resources. So Meta's plan to make the metaverse more accessible is to launch a web-based version of the metaverse. And I think that could be a good move for expanding the potential pool of customers. While VR is probably the best way to interact with the metaverse, sometimes I think users just prefer to interact with something a little bit simpler and less involved, like a controller or maybe a keyboard. The metaverse really isn't that different from what some games have already established, such as RuneScape or Minecraft, with these large expansive worlds that people are interacting with on a regular basis. While the VR headset might be cool and different for some time, I think sometimes people just don't want to be so immersed into the game that they can't check their phone or maybe listen to music while they play at the same time. One of the major issues delaying future rollout is disagreement about the philosophy driving the decisions behind the metaverse. Some meta employees believe the metaverse should be focused on games, but Mark Zuckerberg wants the platform to act as an interactive social media platform focused on social interaction. A leaked memo released in September of 2022 written by the Metaverse Vice President Vishal Shah said that the core thesis for the Metaverse is strong, but stability issues and complaints from creators are making it too hard for the community to enjoy the magic of Horizon. He asked if Meta employees aren't using the product themselves because they don't like the platform, how can they expect the customers to feel the same way? Now, I really, really respect the Wall Street Journal for going out and doing some deep dive research into this, but remember that this is the internet and I don't know exactly what it was that they expected when they went to go do this reporting. Not saying it's an excuse or justifying any of this, but just imagine trying to conduct serious user research in an Xbox Live lobby. So apparently the Wall Street Journal sent a female reporter into one of the most popular worlds, the Soapstone Comedy Club, which was hosting about 20 users at the time. When the reporter introduced herself and explained what she was trying to do, one of the users replied, Hey baby, how about you uh, report on me? And then he later asked her to expose herself. Another user who apparently was flirting with one of the women at the comedy club was then interrupted by his real life girlfriend and started to cuss him out in the background. The Wall Street Journal tried again, this time with a male reporter visiting a house party. The reporter actually made up about 50% of the party's entire population since there was actually just one other guest. And he and the other player ended up boxing while wearing jack-o'-lanterns followed up with some beer pong. But after about 10 minutes, the other player left after never saying a word to the reporter the entire time and then the reporter fell into a pool and because nobody else was around to help he could not figure out how to get out now one of the unfortunate things with the metaverse is i actually could see a situation where this could have been extremely popular imagine if the metaverse had launched in early 2020 it would have been obviously extremely lucky timing for it to have worked out that way but it does reveal another potential advantage that the metaverse has there have been some users who are actually home homebound and found the metaverse as a great way to get some social interaction. The Wall Street Journal talked to a man named Carlos Silvia, who bought the Quest 2 headset in early 2021, looking to find some more interaction during the pandemic. But when he showed up, nobody was there, and he said the whole reason he bought it was to find people to interact with, so obviously that was pretty disappointing. So he took it upon himself to fix this and now runs tours every Wednesday to help new players find their way around. During Christmas, his tour schedule peaked with around 400 users per tour, but now that's down to just 150. Maybe Meta could do themselves some good by paying users like Carlos to do these tours, because if their goal is to build the metaverse and pivot the entire company towards this, then they really need to make it an easier game 
to enjoy. Some of the leaked documents showed that Meta's creators aren't actually enjoying creating worlds anymore. Some of them, especially the early creators, have become unengaged. However, Meta does believe internally that they could be won back by fixing some of the glitches and bugs and other pain points making it not very fun to build these new worlds. Many of the creators just struggle with the fact that it's tough to make money off of their creations. Companies like YouTube and Facebook have done a great job by monetizing their platform, giving huge incentives to create well-developed, engaging material. But the same option doesn't exist within the metaverse. While some people would love to work full-time within the metaverse, there just isn't enough compensation necessary to do so. Maybe what Meta needs to do is just invest in the creators by paying out of pocket until users seem to like the worlds a little bit more. Meta's current way of providing to creators is by allowing in-world payments. So far, the most lucrative world has paid out about $10,000 and a tip feature has generated a total of $470 in payments. That's $470 total. What concerns me most about the metaverse is this isn't just another side venture like Warren Buffett, Jamie Dimon, and Bill Gates' healthcare venture, or maybe Google's Waymo. Meta renamed their entire company around the metaverse that they're trying to build out and establish as a brand new platform. And I'm worried that the metaverse, which at this point I still don't expect to become a thing, is distracting Mark Zuckerberg from what this company actually does well, which is ads on Facebook and Instagram. I get what they're trying to do, which is diversify revenue streams away from just ad revenue because of the potential for Google and Apple to introduce new privacy rules and absolutely crush their business. But what we've seen so far is the metaverse is an empty, unengaging universe that struggles to retain its own customers. It's already experiencing a drop in user growth expectations and users of the platform in general. And if Mark Zuckerberg can't figure out a way to work around or with Apple and Google, well, then it just might be time for Mark Zuckerberg to go. Now, let me know what you think in the comments. Will the metaverse take off? And right now they're just experiencing some empty bugs and some growing pains and we just have to be patient. And if you have used Horizon Platforms, which is Facebook's metaverse, let us know what you think of it so far. Are they doing a good job? Could it get better? Does it actually have potential? I'd absolutely be interested in hearing what you guys have to say. And as always, thanks for watching.